Uh, talk a little bit about the Rolling Stones. Now, they were here very early on, weren't they? Yeah, 1963. We caught it. The first hit single came out of here. Was it the first uh, version of Satisfaction that was recorded at Chess? Yeah. And tell me about your contact with Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, and the Rolling Stones. 1981, they were touring America. And I got a hold of Mick Jagger. I don't know how, how in the world I did that. And I said, man, I want to come to the concert. So he told me to come down and pick up the tickets. And they had backstage passes and everything. So I went and I went to the concert. That spring of 82, he called me. And I thought it was a joke. I thought it was Paul Serrano, this, because he used to call my house all the time and disguise his voice and pretend to be somebody else. So I thought it was Paul playing a joke. Come on, man, she's pulling my leg and all of this stuff. After we popped out, it was really him. <laughs> and he invited me to play with the Rolling Stones, tour of Europe in 1982, so I did. What was that experience like for you? That was like no other experience. <laughs> this was something else. And they had the great promoter Bill Graham was helping them to put it together in Europe, you know. And Bill Graham, Mick Jagger, did the business. You know, uh, Mick was pretty smart in business because he attended the London School of Business, one of the best business schools in the world. Ranked right up there with Harvard and all during them days. Did the Stones take much of an opportunity to talk to you when you weren't playing? Did they ask you about we chess? We used to go to Keith's, Keith's place every night. When we, when we were playing, we called it Keith's Disco. <laughs> yeah, the roadies would bring up this, this, this trunk full of records. <laughs> record players and sit up and listen to records all night, you know? Did they want to know about what happened back in the day here at Chess? Did they ask you about well, that? Well, they knew more about it than I did, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they did. When they came to Chicago, I recall uh, one time uh, mixing them actually was sitting over in Muddy Waters' front porch, eating in this house. <laughs> they were historians like on the American Blues. <laughs> 